here in uh, Hegreville, we are uh, for the last 16 years we've been conducting uh, hemp research. Uh, we are the premier uh, hemp research organization and program in North America. Uh, we started working with hemp in, uh, as a crop uh, that uh, offers uh, diversification options for uh, prairie growers, uh, Alberta growers in, in, in particular. Until recently, hemp uh, has been grown uh, predominantly uh, for, for the grain uh, and grain applications that are food and cosmetics, uh, two primary applications. However, hemp is a multi-purpose crop, so what I mean by that, that every single bit of the crop can be used. Hemp fiber that is coming to the picture uh, is used for uh, textile, automotive and construction materials. And the third part that has been uh, somewhat neglected are leaves and uh, um, plant residues that normally would have to drop on the field and decay in the field. However, th this, this plant residues, we call it chaff, uh, contain uh, non-narcotic cannabinoids that have a great uh, properties and offers uh, um, relief in uh, pain, juvenile uh, epilepsy, and a list of uh, um, diseases that can be uh, uh, cured uh, or addressed with this, this uh, compound found in material that is uh, presently dropped on uh, and, and the case in the field are uh, endless. This industry has been growing for the last several years at uh, 20 to 30 percent and exports of uh, Canadian hemp products, mainly uh, hemp uh, uh, grain based products, uh, are uh, in the neighborhood of 150, 170 million dollars per year. Uh, so uh, we are foreseeing that in a couple of years uh, we are looking, I'm looking personally at a uh, one billion dollar industry that will be benefiting, uh, you know, just like a people of Alberta and, and people of Canada in general.